You're probably asking, like, Cozy, what happened? How is your leg in the whole casket right now? And, like, it's just crazy, bro. Your boy was, like, chilling on the block and shit, you feel me? Trying to make this money, get this work and shit right. You know what I mean? I'm doing my shit on the block. Then this nigga Willy Wonka pull up me and talking crazy, like, yo, like, I seen you on this block, like, mad times. Like, this is my spot. Like, you see the chocolate factory across the street, bro. They're taking mad money from the chocolate factory and shit. I'm like... Nigga, what? I'm like, nigga, this when did the fucking chocolate factory get in front of the crib and shit? I was like, damn, bro, why is this nigga eyes so bright like the sun just hit the moon, bro? I'm like, all right, you know what? I'm just gonna keep it pushing. You feel me? I'm going home. I'm like, yo, you got it, bro. You feel me? I ain't selling no dogs and cats on the on the market, bro. And he's like, I bet. And then you know what I mean? I'm walking. They see, you know, this nigga pull out a fucking turtle and start shooting fucking shells like Mario Kart and shit at my kneecap. I'm like, oh, bah, bah. And you feel me? I jump over that shit. You feel me? Like I'm Superman and shit. So I jumped over that shit, right? And I'm like, ah, bitch ass nigga. Started throwing the mill fingers shit. You feel me? Like, yeah, shut my neck, nigga. And then you're like, oh, I bet this nigga got the little truffle niggas. You feel me? I forgot what them fucking things called, but the Willy Wonka orange motherfuckers. Then niggas on the top of the roof and shit. Got a fucking uh, a shotgun up there. Shoot at me with the scope and shit. Right at my foot, bro. It's a story, bro. You feel me? Like, it's. I know it's kind of crazy, but, like, bro, shit hurts, bro. I ain't gonna lie. So, that's why I try to, like, you know what I mean? Make sure y'all niggas know, like, be better than me, bro. Just be better than me, bro. I know y'all look up to me, like, for, like, fashion inspo. You feel me? Like, find out the next pieces, uh, how to style shit, bro. But, like, sometimes, bro, you gotta be yourself, bro. You gotta be yourself. Moral of the story, bro, be yourself. Anyways, man, I'm bored as shit, bro, you feel me? So, I'm on this, uh, just got surgery on the foot and shit, so, you know. I'm stuck in the crib for, for a couple months, bro, so, you know what I mean? I was like, why not pick up the camera, talk about some fashion shit, or some regular everyday shit, you feel me? So, you're gonna see a lot of consistent cozy in the billion right now. I just thought about, like, some ideas to, like, you know, me talk about. If you haven't been, like, active on my channel you feel me i have like been active on the community page but i post like polls and stuff like that so i was like i bet y'all said you want to know about low-key clothing brands i'm like i bet you feel me like look i have no problem telling y'all the low-key shits you feel me putting y'all into the spots and shit i'm not no gatekeeper you feel me right, so i'm gonna put y'all on to six not five not two six low-key clothing brands the first clothing brand I'm gonna put you on is No Faith Studios. Now, Loki, they're my favorite brand, bro. Right now, like underground shit, they're my favorite clothing brand. Like the pieces they be designing are tight, like, like they, they fire, bro. I, I, I have no other adjective to give. It's fire, it's tough, it's tough. You definitely seen them on my page before. Those are the distressed jeans that I wear like all the time that I show off in my pants collection. If you've seen that video, yeah, bro, I love those pants. Those are my favorite jeans in my collection, bro. Honestly, they're top five clothing piece in my collection, bro. The jeans right here, actually. Boom, you see them. They have a black and gray pair. Uh, I believe they have different other colors. Yeah, they have this like gray and white pair right here, too. And yeah, bro, they, they're, just, they're just tough jeans, bro. A lot, I see a lot of people in New York wearing them often right now. This shit's tough, bro, right here. I ain't gonna lie. This shit's tough. Like, the distressing. Like the like very worn down leather, the bag is tough too. Like I don't know, like the structure of like the shoulder compartment right there where you put over your shoulder, and then like the belt details and the pockets. Like it's just like he does a lot, bro. It just like comes together so fire, bro. Like the this piece right here with the fur and denim. Like what? Like who's really doing this for real? Also, I'm definitely putting you on to other different type of genre. Of Chloe brands for this video too, so it's not gonna be the same like avant garde. It's gonna be also some like you know some punk stuff, some uh some like minimalistic stuff. You know what I mean? Some like streetwear stuff. So you gonna get the whole package. You feel me? So you already know who this is for right here. This is for my opium niggas. You feel me? This is for my Cardi fans, my Destroy Lonely fans, my my X Men. You feel me? Like this is for y'all, man. The designer of this brand is Neptune. He's a fashion influencer. I see him. Like like all the time I explore page on TikTok and Instagram like definitely got some fire fits definitely on that opium 
you feel me like that punk vamp wave you feel me like that's the like the aesthetic he usually goes towards and you can see it through the clothing brand that's like you feel me that's what they pushing right now yeah these pieces are crazy bro you see this like this fur vest right here very tough very hard it got a little like detail on the back i believe this is shirling i believe I'm not sure but i just love the details of it this jacket you already know this is the rick fans right here you feel me the red with the little shoulder detail the little shoulder structure right here that's tough bro i'm not even gonna lie and it's like cropped so it doesn't go like it's not elongated it goes right right above the waist and they got some wax stuff some wax jeans red black they have a cropped wax shirt right here whole bunch of stuff got a little got a little bags a little accessories crazy on the gram bro i'm not gonna lie so if you're definitely on that wave that vamp era type of timing definitely check this page out bro definitely check his clothing brand bro it's super hard hey shout out to my boy celestial bro you feel me here we got feature on the page too bro next clothing brand this for minimalistic people minimalistic minimalistic i said that mad fast i skipped like three letters right there minimalistic all right so the brand is called Cozy Essentials. You feel me? Like, why? You know, I had to add, like, on it, brand. You feel me? Self promo type time. But yeah, not doing too much, like, design wise. But, like, if you need, like, some chill shit, you feel me? On your chill vibe timing, you feel me? This is for you. You feel me? So, like, they got these double layer zip up hoodies right here, which I absolutely love. I was looking to actually buy these, like, last week, but they sold out. I was sick, bro. I ain't gonna lie. I was definitely sick. They have a black version too as well. Yeah, just super tough. Um, and then they have this like vest right here, which is definitely cool, like a little puffer vest. Um, and then they got these sweats too. This is tough too, you feel me? Like just some chill shit, bro. It's really chill, bro. They got different colors in the sweats too. You have a gray color right here. And this cardigan is tough. I like, I love the color, bro. I'm not gonna lie. like. I need more color in my collection, bro. This is something I definitely need, bruh. Something I definitely need for sure. If you ain't smashing that like button and subscribing to the channel, bro. It's like, why am I really putting y'all on, bro? You feel me? Cause I, I feel like some of y'all, like, if you watch my videos and you don't, you're not subscribed, bro, or even like, like the, the video, bro. I feel like you're an NPC, bro. I'm not gonna hold you. Like you are dead as an NPC, a non-playable character. Like you gotta do better, bro. Come on, man. But, anyways, bro, you feel me? If you're not an NPC, you a real nigga, you feel me? I got y'all, nigga. It's only brand. All right, so the next clothing brand is Alexander DeGenova, man. You feel me? I believe he is based out of, if I'm wrong, I think he's based out of New York or LA. Jacket, this leather, like, biker jacket with the stressing on it. Tough, bro. Tough. And they do sofas too. Like if you into the furniture, I ain't gonna lie. If you still subscribe to me, like five years, six years later, bro, we definitely be on that furniture timing, bro. I'm not gonna lie. We definitely be on that furniture timing. I need to get crazy designer chairs, sofas, beds, all that. I'm gonna go crazy, bro. Like a uh, leopard print. <laughs> they got Blade Cyrus wearing this leopard print jacket with the fur on the hood super fire you know what i mean ain't they blade size rocks is low key fire so you know what i mean you definitely put that shit on for them um and they got this you know what i mean like, you know i love bomber jackets where's the bomber jacket at you know i love bomber jackets bro you can't go wrong with bomber jackets man and they got this little distressing detail same thing as the leather jacket i showed before but like with this one super fire bro i'm not gonna lie it's just is it i like the distressing like i think that's like the signature I believe like for his brands like the distressing um on each piece is because he has it on the hoodie this one's hard too like the gray hoodie with the off-white distressing like they contrast very well I'm not gonna lie that's 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 hard bro I mean so definitely checking them out shout out to Alexander man you feel me so um honestly if any of y'all like Coley brands if y'all peep this video bro if you need a model bro let me, hey, you feel me? Your boy's here, you feel me? Like, uh, hey, hit me in the DMs, bro. You feel me? I definitely, I love all your brands, bro. You feel me? So, I would love to model for y'all if you need, like, some, you know what I mean, runway, editorial, whatever. Let me know, man. All right, now I'm going to switch up on y'all. You feel me? We was talking about clothes and all that. 
I gotta switch it up and put y'all on to accessories, specifically sunglasses. And the Colmet brand I'm about to put y'all on with is TD Kent Eyewear. So let's check them out, man. I believe they're based out of Asia. So you feel me? Yeah. I'm putting y'all to some foreign Jones. You know what I mean? Check out these sunglasses, though. These sunglasses are crazy, man. Let's first start with these ones. These ones are type crazy. These are my favorite ones. Like the gray, like, I don't know, is it like a wood? material with the orange lens like super tough bro and then they got these like crazy design ones these ones got like some wires or like it's like a webbed like type of material design around the lens super hard for the frames these are tough and they come with different colors they got this one in like a yellow lens and they got like an all black version with the red you see a whole bunch of colors right there these are hard bro you feel me like these are super tough these ones right here, like, yo, like, these is, like, so fire. And they kind of, you know what I mean? They're a little bit on the expensive side, I admit. They're probably, like, 200 minimum and up. But, um, you know what I mean? Some, some of y'all niggas buying, like, Balenciaga glasses, you feel me? And, you know what I mean? You could get right with these ones, too. Nothing wrong with Balenciaga sunglasses or, like, Rick Owen sunglasses, Bottega sunglasses, but... Feel me if you want to support the low-key brands the up-and-coming brands you feel me like this is tough bro for me i would get right with these like these is tough right here too like the purple i just really like the purple on it and then the last uh corner brand i'll put you on to the brand is called ranger cartel bro ranger cartel now this again is like for like the avant-garde like different crazy designs you know what i mean like the structure and all that you feel me like this is like one of the ones so um so the first piece that's like actually my favorite piece the piece that really caught my eye going to this page is this like this jacket right here this like double layered cargo with the horns on the back like this is super tough, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. You know what I mean? The distressing details on it. That's what it looks like on a model right here. Like, it's super crazy. I love the details. And yeah, man. Definitely, like, you know what I mean? Like, this this jean, like, this these pair of jeans right here. Like, this little skirt material. And I believe this is detachable, so it come off. Yeah, exactly. So you could just have it as a regular pair of jeans. Um... Or you could just keep the details on it, you feel me? Actually, like an actual cargo pant, cargo belt. Very similar to my Corrupt Kid jeans. Um, these ones right here, like those very similar to these. Um, but the, these are more flared out. You feel me? It's more wide leg. So if you went to a little wide leg flare type timing, this is the perfect for you. What was that about Alexa? Girl, if you don't stop. Um, but yeah, man. Oh yeah, this hoodie right here is tough too. Like the little fur. This so stuff is like under 160, you know what I mean? So like you can get right with that. I think that jacket is like 160. You know what I mean? Like that's that's a fire price, bro. You know what I mean? That's not cheap, but it's not expensive. You know what I mean? Like you probably would pay like two bands if you got that from like Margiela or Raf Simmons or Rick. You know what I mean? Like you pay two bands, but you pay like fractions. And it is not known, you feel me? So like, you, people like, yo, what is that? I've never seen that. Is that Rick Owens? Like, nah, bro, this is Ranger. Like, you know, you know what I mean? Like, it's people don't know, bro. You feel me? That's the point of having low key brands, bro. You feel me? That's why I like, like looking at like underground stuff, man. You feel me? That's really like something I really be fishing for. I be searching on the internet, on Instagram and shit. So, yeah, bro, definitely check them out, man. And I think I think that's the six one right there. So. I, I, you know what I mean? I know, I know, kids. I know, kids. I know it's time to go. You feel me? It's time to go. Bye bye. But, man, if you don't want to see me go for long, man, make sure you subscribe, bro. You feel me? Like I'm gonna come back every often. I told y'all, cozy, consistent, cozy's in the building. So make sure y'all tap in with me, man. You feel me? Comment down below um, if you mess with these brands, if you heard of them or even some brands you want to put me on you feel me like i like to be put on too bro you feel me help me help you this is this is what we do right here man that's it for this segment uh if you want to keep watching you feel me i'm just gonna be you know just chilling you feel me vibing out uh maybe do some streaming shit add some clips in here too but like other than that that's really about it man i'm gonna catch y'all uh in the next part next video whatever man i'm gonna catch y'all man
we've been everywhere and back, but I just can't remember it all. What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm doing me. I'm doing me. I'm living life right now, man. And this is what I'm going to do till it's over. Till it's over. But I'm far from over. Bro, you in your Drake face, bro? No, bro. It just came out of my playlist. Nah, bro. It's, it's my, you were supposed to be mad Drake stuff in your story, bro. It's in my, it's in my, um, my chill heat playlist. Your what? My chill heat playlist. The your song. chill lead playlist? Chill heat. Chill heat. Yeah, it's like a chill song, but it's heat. Ah, uh, I get it. Uh, <laughs> you still Drake it, though. You and your feelings, bro? No, I'm not, bro. It's a shorty, this bro. This is a lit Drake song. It's like a motivational Drake song. It's like Underground Kings. It's like um, Madonna. You don't even know one song by Madonna. What are you talking about? Madonna? Madonna? It's on, if you're reading, this is too late. Yeah, you know Madonna's Six a singer, Godfather. right? You know Madonna's a singer, right? Yeah. You didn't know that, bro. I didn't know that. <laughs> but I, I did I did like search it up. Because he said, you could be big as Madonna. I'm like, who Madonna? Search it up. It was like a movie or something. It's not. It's an artist. She's a singer. It's a, it's like a She's movie, a lady, bro. bro. <laughs> what? I know it's a lady. She's not a movie. <laughs> I knew it was a whoopee, bro. But I don't know. I don't know what Drake was talking about, bro. Bro, what? Oh man. Oh, I have the stampies. Word. You me right, kid. Cold water. Word. Gotta keep it cold. Jeez, bro, you got three bottles of water? Yeah, but they're warm. Nigga went from Drake to opium, bro. What? Get out, my, get, out, get out my room. Get out my room. Get out. Get out. Now. I'll be back, nigga. Get out. I'll be back, man. Yeah. I'll be back, man. Get my Uzi's going the world, nigga. That Uzi had the world in his hands like this, nigga. And your hands were on his dick too, doing this. No, no, no. Yeah, that's what you was doing. Even you, even you said Uzi was taking over the world at that time, bro. No, I just said his mixtape was named Lil Uzi vs. the World. That's why I said I didn't say that. You said that was his best year. Yeah, yeah it was his did. best year. Then he fell off after that. No. <laughs> did we? You really think he fell off? Cause he was dropping hits after that. Yeah, Exo Tour Life. Then what's the hit song after that? Then. He made what else? Mm -hmm. What else he made after that? Mm -hmm. Hit. Talk about hit. He got on a song with Meek Mill. That's a hit. That's a oh, Meek Mill. Blue Notes too. That's not a hit. Kind of a hit. Man, you know, That's not a hit. Got a word Mill. You know, it's a hit. That's not a hit at all. All right, he dropped like uh, a hit like God Plan or like Fuck Nigga Free. Uh, Munch. That's a hit. Those are hits. Uh, the Corvette remix. What? That's not a hit. That's not his song. But he still he was on it. He, he, was, he was on a remix. That was hard. He was on a remix. You know how many people were saying, "Bitch, it's a Uzi Bird." You know how many people were just saying that? Like, Alright, but that's a that's a feature in a remix at like that. That's not his song. That that he yeah, had a hit, bro. Oh my god. All right. What about? But just say, bro, the last last hit he had between Exo Tour Life was I Just Wanna Rock, bro. That's not a hit! That's a five year gap, bro. It's a five year gap. He was, he was chilling. He was chilling. You feel me? Then he dropped the red and white EP. That was a hit. There's no hits in there. There's no hits in there? There's no it's good songs, there's no hits though. He just had a hit, bro. We just wanna rock the hit. You know, bad people is it's a, uh, 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 uh. But oh, yeah, it's also it also because the dancing helped it too. Yeah. It did, of course, yeah. The New Jersey dance. Cause Uzi be hitting that bit. You know Uzi be dancing all the time. Yeah, but New, that was the New Jersey thing though. New Jersey beat, yeah. all that. New Jersey dancing, getting light. The same. The same. My fit match my glizzy. That's not a bar. My fit black. That's just my glizzy. That's not a bar. 
You can't say anything is a bar. That's a punchline. That's not a punchline at all. Punch no. So that's, so that's not a hard line. It's cool, but like that's not like that's not the greatest thing I've ever heard, bro. You hyping okay, it's not, up, it's not bro. The greatest thing. Hard. This is any Lil Wayne song. That's punchlines. There's literally punchlines. All right, you got that. You got that. I can tell you, eight percent of the rappers nowadays that you listen to, they're not doing punchlines, bro. They don't have a lot of punchlines. Good ones at that. What kind of rap rappers? Bro, they say say one yeet punchline right now. I need to think. Say one Ken Carson destroy lonely punchline. I gotta think. Hold on. He was like, uh, he be on that. Who else you listen to? Uh, Lucky be hard. Oh. Lucky's hard, but what, no, they, like, but they one. He was like, um, um, I'm in the hood. Was good. I made sure it's up. I'm happy you follow me. I mix the love with drugs. I can't get enough codeine in the artery. As long as you meet him, we good. She came in my hood, and now she a part of me. That's a good. That's a, it's a, it's cool. good. It's that's cool, it's but it's not. Like, it was, it was it's cool, not. You know? Yeah, it's not punchline, bro. I'm in the Bentley. She mad at me. What? 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 What does that mean? You gotta think about it, though. You're like. You gotta think like why did that's, you say that? You do you have to think about what he just said right there? That no, he had to really you really had to decipher no 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 no, 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 no. You really had to decipher what he just said in that bar. You gotta think. Why is she mad at him though? Why is she mad because he's in a Bentley, Jalen? Think about it. And in the music video, he has like a nineteen sixty nine Bentley, bro. It was like fraudulent niggas can't ride with me. A bar is like a punchline is like I'm a cutthroat baller like OJ Simpson. That's a bar. What? Damn, bro, he's young, bro. You know what OJ Simpson is? The football player? I was gonna say that, yeah. The big football player that got that was uh, on trial for murder. Cause he killed like his girlfriends and the guy he was he was hanging with. I'm a cutthroat baller, like O.J. Simpson. That's a bar. That's a, That's bar. a bar. That's a bar. Yes. That's a bar. That's cool. I put 25 in your back like Barry Bonds jersey. Barry oh, Bonds is a famous football yeah, player. I figured he was. He's 25. Yeah. I put 25 in your back like Barry Bonds jersey. Those are bars, though. It's a bar. But like, that's a bar. That's a lot of bullets. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, bop, 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 Like, damn, think what the fuck? It's a lot of bullets, bro. I'm not gonna lie. All right, bro. Go, go, go. Oh, Skedaddle. Oh, God, what a dixie no cock in it. That! That's a good bar. That's a, that's a bar. You can't. That's a good bar. Who said that? Me. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I said that. I didn't. I didn't say you didn't. I just said interesting. That's all I said. Damn. All y'all go on SoundCloud. Go on YouTube. Search up "Premature" by I M B Meezy. Tell me. That's the first bar I say. Clock with a dick, so you know that I'm cocking. I'm gonna cut that out. You know that, right? What? You gonna cut that out? Yeah, you don't be smart my YouTube channel, so why I'm gonna... You don't be liking the videos. <laughs> they be liking the videos. <gasps> they be liking the videos. So I don't be like the I'll second see your person to comment? I don't see... No. My last oh. video? My last video? Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I keep it that bit. Yeah. Silent trip. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go do that. Man, that's cap, bro. I'm gonna do that and I'll be back. <sighs> I deal with it, bro.